My name is Basil, and today I'm going to be talking about the cell. I know it says Gamma Gaming, but I also do all sorts of stuff like sports, gaming, science, math, and gymnastics. I want to be as useful as I can, so let's get into this presentation. Hope you enjoy it, and hope you'll learn something too. So, cells. So, we'll start with the animal cell. Now, this is a how an animal cell looks like. And let's go to the component of the animal cell. So in, uh, in the animal cell, it has a cellular membrane, and that controls entry into and out to the cell, protects the cell from the environment. So this is the cellular membrane right here. And yeah, so the nucleus, the central information center of the cell, housing the chromosomes inside the nucleolus. So over here, as you can see, is this is the nucleus. And inside the nucleus, there is the nucleolus, which contains chromosomes. And we'll go to the mitochondria, which is the powerhouse of the cell. The mitochondria generates the cell's energy by using oxygen to re release energy stored in the cellu cellular nutrients. Respiration also occurs in the, cell mito in the cell mitochondria. So this is the mitochondria right here. And... Uh, the endoplasmic reticulum, the smooth and the rough, so that transports the network and surface for the nutrients, package and store protein. Uh, the rough endoplasmic reticulum has ribosomes, that's why it's called the rough endoplasmic, but the smooth endoplasmic reticulum does not have ribosomes, so it is smooth. Now the Jolgi apparatus, or Jolgi body, or, 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 or Jolgi complex, uh, that packages and distributes energy, so this is the the Jolgi body or Jolgi complex over here and the cytoplasm which all these organelles float in is uh, where the organelles float so this purple thing is the cytoplasm now the lysosomes store energy produced in the Jolgi apparatus so the lysosomes are right here and they contain digestive chemicals now the vacuole uh, stores food and waste, uh, the warehouse of the cell, usually one big one in plant, multiple small ones in animal cell. And I checked and there is no vacuole here, I do not know why, even though it's pretty important. And the ribosomes, um, they make protein and they are found near the rough endoplasmic reticulum and they float around uh, in the cytoplasm. So the rough endoplasmic reticulum has um, ribosomes and... These are free ribosomes because they're just floating around the cytoplasm. Now we'll go to the plant cell. So this is the plant cell. It is not a circle, well not a completely circle, but it's not, it doesn't really look like the animal cell. And uh, it only has two different parts. Um, the cell wall protects and keeps the cell in shape because uh, the plants grow need to grow and they need something very hard to keep them growing straight so it doesn't collapse on itself so that's the cell wall which is right there right there and there is also the chloroplast which produces chlorophyll for photosynthesis process and the chloroplast is located right here and that produces uh or no that that's where photosynthesis happens and we'll go to the compare and contrast. Now, the plant cell has a cell wall, a large vacuole, chloroplast, flagella, only in gametes. That means um, the tail of the sperm. Um, now, the bo they both contain mitochondrion, Jolgi apparatus, rough and smooth endoplasmic reticulum, nucleus, cytoplasm, and ribosomes. Now, the animals do not have a cell wall, small or no vacuole, no chloroplast, and they have a flagella. And thanks for watching. That's it. Peace out.